If you want to become master in learning, never run out of trial or error method. Stick around and let's get started to be spontaneous. You try anything and everything that comes to your mind without overthinking. I'm perceiving you to be perfect and I'm there to teach you and be sure that you watch this video right till the end. And today's video is going to be very, very interesting. It is on estimation. I'm going to dis discuss about the few definitions on estimate, estimator, estimation, types of estimation, that is point estimation and interval estimation, biased and unbiased estimations. So here for better understanding, so I'll go with an example here. For instant, listen to the story here. So this is the general process here. In a college of around 5,000 students, the college management has to take a feedback of few newly appointed lecturers. For management, it is hard and time-taking process to meet each and every student to take the feedback. So he selects a few students from each class and asks for the feedback. See here, in this process, understand, the total students in the college comes under population. Few selected students from each class comes under the sample population. See here, the class comes under sample population. The selected lecturer comes under estimate. College estimate as a lecturer for those. The feedback form here is the estimator. So I'll, I'll clearly explain you what is an estimator. Estimator is nothing but the process of selecting a lecturer. So here, estimation from the feedback form, whether he is an excellent, good, average or below average, is done through an arithmetic mean here. So here, most of the students, they'll select as excellent. Some students will select as good, some as below average and some as an average. So we have to take a sample mean out of these and we have to estimate. So here, the estimator, estimation, population, population, sample population, everything is crystal clear from this small story here, general example here. So here, the total students is nothing but the population. Selected students from each class is nothing but the sample. Here, the college, with the process of uh, an interview, they selected a few lecturers, that is an estimate. So here the estimator is nothing but the feedback form here and after taking the sample that is an estimator for example if you take an average with the feedback form so he declared as whether he is a good excellent average or below average now coming to our uh, definitions here the first definition is nothing but the parameter here so what is the parameter here the quantities appearing in the distribution such as P in the binomial distribution and mu and sigma in the normal distribution. These are called the parameters. So here the definition of parameter is nothing but see here P, Q, sigma, mu. These are all the parameters which are used in the statistics for estimation. So what is the estimate? So estimate is nothing but an estimate is a statement made to find an unknown population parameter. So here it is a guess. It is a guess. See here, it is a prediction. See, we have to, when we go to a cell phone shop, so if you want to purchase a mobile phone, so first of all, we have to estimate the price here. So this is nothing but the guess or the prediction of that price. So this is nothing but the estimate. The college estimated few faculty as a lecturers. See here. And the next one is estimator. Estimator is nothing but the procedure or the rule to determine an unknown population parameter is called an estimator. Here, the feedback form which we have given to each and every student, selected students, is called an estimator. For instance, the sample mean, see here the sample mean is nothing but the selected students from each class is the sample mean, is an estimator of the population mean. Here, the population mean is the whole college students is the population mean. So as it is very difficult to ask each and every student, so we have selected some sample students and we have given the feedback form. So for this process is called an estimator. Mean because the sample mean is the method of determining the population mean. The whole population mean should be determined through the sample mean. See here the selected students has to declare whether he is good, bad, average or below average. 
remember that an estimator must be an statistic so here remember it should be an statistic and so what is the statistics used arithmetic mean we have used here and it must depend only on the sample but not on the parameters to the estimated so an estimator is a statistics which from all the practical purposes can be used in the place of an unknown parameter of the population a parameter can have one or two or any estimators see here here types of estimation basically there are two kinds of estimation to determine the statistics of the population the first one is the point estimation and the second one is an interval estimation so here it is estimator is the process or the rule to determine the unknown parameter so this is the procedure from the statistics only we have to use whether we use a variance a standard deviation or mean so whatever it might be you have to use a statistical parameter for determining the estimator estimate is a guess and estimation see here basically there are two types of estimation so one is a uh, point estimation and the next one is interval estimation in between what is the statistical inference in statistical inference we use the sample and apply the suitable statistical methods for drawing the conclusions about the unknown properties of the population so that we obtain the answer to our problem see here in order to apply on the total population we apply the statistical methods on the sample see here from the whole college students of around 50000 students or 5000 students so it is very hard and time taking process so we apply on the sample students of few selected students and we apply and we give the feedback form and we take an average and that is the final conclusion so we obtain the answer to a problem so this is a statistical inference this is also the another definition of statistical inference basically see here there are two types of uh, problems under statistical inference the first one is hypothesis testing and the next one is estimation what is this hypothesis testing to test some hypothesis about the parent population which the sample is drawn see see here from the when the sample is tested so we have to apply to the whole population so this is an hypothesis testing and next one estimation to use the statistics obtained from the sample as estimate of the unknown parameters of the population from which the sample is drawn an important problem of the statistical inference is the estimation of population parameter that is population mean population standard deviation etc from the corresponding sample statistics sample mean sample statistics in order to apply the mean on the total population and standard deviation on the total population we apply the mean on the sample selected bit and we apply the standard deviation on the sample uh, sample population and we apply for the whole population this is nothing but the estimation see here there are two types of estimations one is point estimation and interval estimation what is point estimation so let me give you one example here if you want to purchase a mobile phone so you went to a mobile showroom and first one is before purchasing a mobile phone there is an estimate here the estimate guess for the price so here it is around 20000 rupees so this is a point estimation point estimation is if the estimate of the population parameter is given by a single value so I have said it is 20000 rupees it is a single value then the estimate is called the point estimation of the parameter see here estimation it is also a guess what is point estimation and interval estimation if it is around the single value single numeral then it is point estimation but if the estimate of the population is given between two different values see here different two different values different values between which the parameter may be considered to lie then the estimate is called the interval estimation of the parameter so suppose if you want to purchase a mobile phone and you estimated it as it is in between 20,000 to 30,000 so here the lower limit and upper limit is given and in between the price of the cell phone exists then it is called an interval estimation so if you say if you said a few uh, a single value numeral then it is a single value it is a point estimation if you estimate between the two values that is 20,000 between 20 to 30,000 so it is an interval estimation 
so it is also so simple for example here if the heights of the students are measured as 162 centimeters so this is a point point estimation then the measurement gives the point estimation so exact 1.1 numeral is given so this is point estimation but if the heights is given as 163 163 plus or minus 3.5 then the heights lie in between so if you subtract this will be 159.5 and if you add this is 166.5 then the measurement is called an interval estimation so if it is on single point it is point estimation if it is in between two values it is called an interval estimation clear and the next one here is the definition the point estimator is a statistics for estimating the population parameter theta and it will be denoted by see here this is theta hat this is theta hat so our expected value is our guess value or estimated value is nothing but theta hat and an actual value the actual mobile phone value if it is 19000 so this is theta value the actual value is theta and our the point estimator value is nothing but the theta hat theta hat see here the properties of an estimation an estimator is not expected to be to estimate the population parameter without error there will be certainly an error here if it is 19000 my case, uh, the actual price is 19000 so here if i said it is around 15000 so the variation here is 4000 so this is uh, error here so properties of estimation always there will be there will be an error exists and estimator is not expected to be estimate the population parameter without error an estimator should be close to the true value of an unknown parameter see here what is unbiased and biased estimates see here if i said the mobile cost is 15000 rupees if i go inside the mobile showroom and it's also 15000 rupees my guess my prediction is same to that actual value then it is unbiased estimate so it's very good estimate it's unbiased or else it is a biased estimate if it's 16000 so there is an error here it is a biased estimate as we are having an error if there is no error if the actual value and the predicted value is same then we say that it is an unbiased estimate see listen here a statistics is said to be unbiased estimator of the corresponding parameter if the mean of the sample distribution of the statistics is equal to the corresponding population parameter see here if the mean of the sampling sampling distribution is equal to the corresponding population mean then we say that if both are equal if my guess and the actual price is same then we say that it is unbiased otherwise the statistics is called biased so if if it's not equal then it is a biased estimator of the corresponding parameter the values of the statistics in the above two cases are called unbiased and biased if the actual value and the predicted value are same we say that it is biased it's a good estimate if actual value and the predicted value are not same then we say that it's a biased estimate so this is such a general thing that you can understand by few examples by watching to this world and the next one is see here unbiased estimator what is this estimator the theta hat be an estimator of theta so theta is the actual price and theta hat is the predicted price the statistic theta is said to be an unbiased estimator or its value is an unbiased estimate if and only if if and only if the mean or the expected value of a theta hat is equal to theta so if an actual value if predicted value and the actual value are same if they are equal then we say that it is an unbiased then theta hat is said to be an unbiased estimator this is equivalent to say that the mean of an probability distribution probability distribution of theta hat see here is equal to theta and estimator processing to this property is called unbiased definition unbiased estimator a statistic or the point estimator theta hat is said to be an unbiased estimator if expected value and the actual value are same in other words e statistics is equal to the parameter then the static statistics is said to be unbiased estimator of the parameter so here this is how i have explained about biased unbiased estimator and point estimator and interval estimator what is estimation what is uh, estimator and what is estimate and what are the parameters in today's video hope you all guys have a clarity on this so this is not my own words this is from the textbook straightly have taken 
and hope you can read and you can follow this textbook also now you can understand by a few examples which i have taught you today and if you really like please continue the playlist continue to from the playlist because i'll be uploading so many topics from this estimate uh, estimation topic from statistics and clearly you can solve by your own and it will be easy for your preparation and if you really like please raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and stay connected and i'll be uploading please support this channel by sharing with as many friends as you can thank you so much